Edwin Butch Luther has achieved legendary status in the Racine bowling community with more accomplishments than we can mention. But it's safe to say that Butch Luther is among the upper echelon of bowlers from Racine. Butch began bowling when he was five years old and bowled in the junior leagues in Racine. I lived six blocks from Douglas Bowl, three blocks from Northside, and between the two, I was over at one of, the, one of them almost every day during the summer. But once I started, I just didn't want to quit. In 1965, at the age of 20, Butch bowled a 741 series. That same year, he joined the United States Air Force to serve his country during the Vietnam War. That did not, however, stop him from enjoying his passion for bowling. In 1967, he was part of the Air Force team that bowled at the USAF World Championships. In 1968, he placed first in singles, doubles, and all events during a bowling event at Rhine Main Air Force Base in Germany. He was also a championship team member who won the USAF World Tournament. We went to Keesler Air Force Base in uh, Mississippi for, the, for that national tournament. After he was honorably discharged, Butch returned to Racine in 1971. He won third place in the U.S. team trials, thus earning a spot on the United States team participating in the 7th FIQ World Bowling Tournament held in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Because of that performance, Butch earned an invitation to bowl with then-President Richard Nixon at the White House Bowling Alley. We were at the, the lanes uh, at the White House. Uh, President Nixon came up to me and he wanted to uh, check uh, hands to see who was longer. And uh, as it turned out, mine was about half inch longer than his. That same year, Butch was selected as a member of the second team All-American squad by Bowling Magazine. Over the next several years, Butch Luther's name was commonplace on the bowling leaderboards in Racine and across the state of Wisconsin. Butch Luther was inducted into the Racine Bowling Association Hall of Fame in 1993 and was then honored as the RBA Bowler of the Century for his many contributions to the sport. Butch was a member of some of the best five-man teams to ever come out of Racine. Rich Wonder started up a team we call the Over the Hillside Gang. You know, it was some of the old, older guys in town, my, myself, Rich Wonders, Kenny Jensen. Uh, I can remember Ray Betchkel, who was probably the youngest. I, I can't place the fifth per person at this time, but we, had, we did that for about three, four, five years. In 2019, Luther bowled in his 50th ABC bowling tournament in Las Vegas. At that time, he had the third highest average for 50-year participants nationwide in this tourney, with an average of just under 197. He made his debut in this event in 1965, and although he missed the next few years while serving in the military, he has been a loyal competitor since 1970.